Now that we have completed the quality control of the sequences, we are ready to get some information from the data. In our workflow, we will describe two different ways of working with the data. Either we map the data to a known reference, or we perform de novo assembly. Before we continue with the practical demonstration, this video will give a high-level overview of the difference between mapping and assembly. Our experiment yielded reads that are all small pieces of a larger whole. The goal is to get those pieces back together so that we can have an indirect look at the larger whole. In case of mapping, we have our reads on the top of the screen now, and we also have a reference to map our reads to. So we just start by taking one of the reads and trying to place it so it aligns with the reference. Next, we take another read, align it, and move to the next one until we have aligned all of them. You can see that we were even able to align a sequence with an error, as this was the most likely location to place it. Now that we have all our pieces mapped to the reference, we can create a consensus sequence. As you may have noticed, however, there are some reads in our collection that do not map to the reference. And this is the biggest disadvantage of read mapping, as you need a good reference to map your reads against. Anything that does not map to the reference is lost and therefore unusable in any further analysis. The second way to piece together our reads is by doing a de novo assembly. Here we start from the same reads, but instead of mapping them to a reference, we try to piece them together based on the overlap between the reads themselves. This way we can distinguish four groups where the reads overlap. Combining them leads to the four contexts. The biggest disadvantage here is the fact that although we now have the fourth group called funny, we have no idea in which order these groups are present in our biological sample. So to summarize, we use read mapping if we have a reference that is close enough to our sample and if we are interested in SNPs, indels and gene content. We use de novo assembly if we have no reference genome available when we want a complete genome or when we are interested in larger structural variants. In the next videos we will look at read mapping with Bowtie 2 and BWA-MAM and at de novo assembly with Spades and Velvet Optimizer.